welcome to this week's Wax Pack Dad. Woo! Whew, Wax Pack Dad, home of the McRib Sandwich. Three years running. Speaking of McRib Sandwiches and running, I have this weird guy. You're like, hey, Wax Pack Dad, I've seen this before. This is a 1979 card. 1990, excuse me, 1979 pack. It also could have been used for a 1980 pack. Well, I was looking around, scouring the internet, and lo and behold, the provider said it was a miswrap for 81, so I had to do some research, because I'm like, I knew they used this for 1980. Did they use it for 81? And then having to go back and, and taking a look at that. Um, I'm not 100% sure on the quality here. Um, I didn't have a huge investment, but it's uh, kind of funny because I just wrote a small like excerpt or mini blog for, for my friend David uh, Ganos's um, um, weekly news or monthly newsletter that he puts out and it's on sourcing better packs. So this one, I kind of knew it was like, what are we gonna get? You know, if it's 12 cards of 1981 for 10 bucks, okay, we'll take a look, we'll take a look at it. Get any stars, that's cool too. Um, before we get going to, um, just to make this a little bit longer, I just have a pack of 1989, kind of, it's just a, a warm up here. So let's get at it. And you can see some of my favorite stickers from the 1972 and 77 to 82 um, stickers uh, for Flair, some World Series stickers, Duke Snyder and the old barrel man for the brewers. So I wanna just open this guy up real quick. Still don't have a Michael Urban, so that'd be really cool. Rob Chronicles of Riddick. Altoon from your University of Wisconsin. Earl Edmonds, tight end for the Dolphins. Nick Lowry. Kicker. Okay, we've got an Eric Dickerson All Pro. That's cool. Put him up there. Kevin Green. I believe that is his second year card. Robert Awalt. John Stevens, the Patriots, Thousand Yard Club. Albert Bentley. Ha, that's awesome. Icky Woods with the Icky Shuffle. Very cool. Hope this rip isn't icky, but... For you, those of you that haven't seen it, you'll have to look up the Icky Shuffle. Mike Kofer. The Boz. Look at that. Look at that. It's like all business in the front and all party in the back until Bo Jackson shows up. Hey, we got another Eric Dickerson record breaker. Can never have any too many Eric Dickersons. Chris Miller, Donnie Elder, and John Settle. Oh, kind of cool. An Icky Woods rookie card and a couple uh, Eric Dickersons. So. Let's get this guy rolling. It's kind of weird, though. Like, just, uh, like, what do you think? 1979, 80, 81? If it's 1980, that's probably the only one that it might not be worth $10. Um, I've gotten packs maybe as low as eight fifty. So, either way. But as I was looking at it, I, I don't know if I can see roller marks on this or not. Lighting's not super good today. So, this is just one of those... Okay, so this is 1981. This is the first time I've ever seen a pack from 1979 carried over from 1981. Let me get my light settled on here. Curtis Brown. A little bit of junk on the front here. Oh, we got an Archie Manning. Houston Oilers. Greg Stemrick. 
Oh, that'd be cool to get a Joe Montana in one of these. And actually, the 1981 packs, I believe, have 15 cards in them. This is kind of weird where they have 12 because they are repack. JT Smith. You can say whatever you want about them, but this one is uh, about as mint as you're going to get here. Mike Renfro. Don Calhoun. You know what? How about Joe Montana? Or Dan Hampton? Ha, ah, cool. Lyle Elzato. B-movie actor. Steroid enthusiast. Heck of a defensive end. Doug France. Tackle. Steve Furness. Mike Helms. I'll tell you what, a lot of these cards are in gem mint condition. Fortunately, uh, a lot of superstars. I've never heard of this guy, Jim Jodat. I heard of Hudat, but not Jodat. I don't know what that's going on there. I don't want to know. Larry Hida. So, got me an Archie. Got a Lyle Alzado. Kind of cool. I have another pack from that guy laying around, so I'll open that later. But, uh, but uh, thanks for sticking with me. Um, as always, stay safe and God bless.